Hi, I'm Christopher Brown, and I'm going to be reading from my book, Marlowe. So the story starts off with Marlowe running off the page. And where do you think he's going? Looks like he's digging a hole. And we all know what happens when you dig in the dirt. You get dirty. So there's Marlowe poking his head out of the hole. He's got a flower on his head. And he's got a lot of dirt all over him. On Tuesday morning, Marlowe's owner said, Marlowe, you're a mess. Marlowe knew what that meant, a bath. Marlowe really didn't like baths. And you can see he looks pretty sad right there. Luckily, he had duck to keep him company. So you can see that Marlowe is there hugging his, his rubber duck. Everything should be just fine, right? It looks like a gigantic wave is sweeping Marlowe and his duck away. And can you see what's happening to Duck? Duck is flying off the bathtub and straight into the water. Now, this is where I need your help finding Duck. You can see Duck is right there. You can see Marlowe's looking after Duck and all these other fish are watching Duck sink below the waves. What is Marlowe going to do? And there he is, diving underwater in his scuba gear going after duck, but there's a lot of yellow fish and rubber duck is yellow. Can you help find duck? That's right, he's right there hiding in the fish. And I also want you guys to keep an eye out for a hermit crab. Uh, hermit crabs live in their shells and we can see this little hermit crab right here losing his shell. So he's losing his home. And I'm gonna guess that he's gonna have to find a new home throughout the story. So keep an eye open for him as well. So there's Marlowe in the bright coral looking for duck. And there's duck hiding behind the coral. And there's the hermit crab with a very small shell, which he's not going to fit into. Oh, now that is a gigantic jellyfish. Can you see how small Marlowe is next to that jellyfish? And so there's a hermit crab inside a jellyfish, which that's not going to work as a home. And there's Duck, all the way on the other side of that gigantic jellyfish. So the search continues. Now this is a very, very busy spot right now. Lots of fish, there's a sea monster, there's a little octopus with a pet fish, there's a swordfish having a sword fight with a crab, and there is the hermit crab inside a flower vase, and that's not gonna work for a home, so he has to keep looking. And there's the duck. And there's Marlo up in the corner. He's still looking for the duck, and can you see what's creeping up behind him? It looks like tentacles. And it's a gigantic octopus, and it looks friendly, so I don't think Marlo's in trouble. There's Marlo searching for his duck. Got a funny looking fish right there. And there's the duck hiding behind some coral. And there is the hermit crab wearing a glove, and that's not gonna work for a home, so he has to keep looking. So here we have it, Marlo still looking for his duck. There's Marlo, looking at a little shrimp. It's cute, but that's not the duck. So we have the duck right there, hiding in some barnacles. We've got the hermit crab right there wearing Santa's hat, but that's not going to work for a home, so they have to keep on looking. It looks like there is a gigantic prehistoric shark. There's Marlo. He's tiny. And there's that gigantic shark. You can see the hermit crab. He's a tiny little guy right there. And all the way on the other side is Duck hiding behind the shark. So the shark looks hungry. Doesn't bode well for Marlo. Let's see what happens. And there's Marlo shooting off. Luckily, he's got a jet pack in his scuba gear, so he's flying away, but the shark is in hot pursuit. It's right behind him, trying to eat Marlo. Now, we still haven't found the duck, and this is a hard one because all of these plants, they look like ducks. So if you look closely, though, the duck is tucked away in those plants right there, and you can tell because he's got a little eye. And we can see the hermit crab wearing a boot not going to work as a home, so he has to keep looking while Marlowe makes a getaway. 
And there's Marlow flying through all those yellow fish. The shark is right behind him with his big pointy teeth. And we've got the hermit crab holding on for dear life wearing a mug and that's not gonna work. Now it's gonna be hard to find the duck because the duck is yellow and all the fish are yellow. But if you look closely, there's the duck. Oh boy, looks like Marlow has gotten away from the shark, but he's flying into the mouth of another big sea creature. We don't know what it is, but it has sharp teeth. Got a lot of little fish right here, and this is the hardest spread to find the duck, so you have to look very closely. And if you look closely, you can see the duck right there, hiding in the teeth. So what do you think? Is this the end of Marlow? Has he been swallowed alive by a big sea monster? Actually, no, he's been rescued. He's inside the belly of a giant whale. And look how big the whale is compared to that giant prehistoric shark. The shark is no match for that whale. So Marlow is rescued. There's a ship full of penguins and there's a walrus. And there, if you look at the very top of that penguin's head, that's where Duck is. And this is the moment Marlo and I have been waiting for. Marlo is reunited with his duck after all that, those crazy adventures. So there's Marlo, there's his duck smiling because he's happy. And there is the hermit crab. And it looks like he's smiling too. He's wearing Marlo's helmet and it looks like that's the perfect home for him. So this is a fun spread where you have to turn it the whale at the bottom and you've got Marlow all the way at the top shooting up with his duck in his arms and all the fish of the sea saying goodbye to Marlow. Marlow, it's time to get out of the bath. And there's Marlow. Looks like he's been through a lot. He's been through a crazy adventure, but luckily duck is right there with him. And they get out of the bath and they're together. And that is the story of Marlowe.